Rom wasn't built in a day. In fact, it's a series of buildings that were constructed over the course of its century. And where I'm standing here on Philosopher's Walk, you can see the oldest part of the Rom. This is the first wing, which opened on March 19th in 1914, almost exactly a century ago. And the newest part, the most controversial, of course, the Michael Lee Chin Crystal, which opened in 2007. As you can see, the architecture of the Ram has traveled a long way in this last hundred years. This built at a time when architects saw the past as a source of all kinds of material which they love to use, mix and mingle, have fun with, to this, this very kind of deconstructivist, as it's called, um, piece, which is really a sculpture more than it is a building. So let's take a look at some of the things that have happened here at the Rump over the last hundred years. This is the part of the museum with which we're most familiar. This is the East Wing built in the 1930s during the Depression, um, built in a wonderful kind of Art Deco style full of all sorts of fabulous detailing. And you can see it here at, at the main entrance. Keep in mind that this part of the ROM was built during the Depression, so as much as anything, it was a make-work project. So to that end, the materials were all local, the craftsmanship is all local. The idea was to create jobs as well as build a museum. So this is the new face of the ROM. I'm standing obviously on Blur Street, and this is where you see the f crystal in its full glory. When it was designed in the early 2000s, there were a number of purposes. First of all, they wanted to expand the museum itself so there's more room to display objects. Second of all, they wanted to create a public space. Not quite a square, but a bit of a piazza here on Blur Street, which never existed before. And third, of course, they wanted to make a statement. A statement about the 21st century museum, about the connection between the museum and the community, and although this is very angular, and a lot of people found this a very disturbing building. In fact, I don't recall a building as controversial as this one here in Toronto. The other thing I think that's interesting about the crystal is how it relates to the original structures here. People think that it kind of obliterates the older buildings. In fact, it does anything but. The relationship between these aluminum cladding and the glass and the old masonry is actually very delicate. If you look carefully, you'll see there's always a bit of a space between the two. I see that as a kind of an act of respect, a kind of doffing of the cap from the new to the old. So it's certainly, certainly a very respectful addition, even though it's aesthetically as different as it could possibly be. So let's take a quick look inside now which is, after all, where most of us spend our time when we come to the museum. The ROM is famous for its Chinese collection, much of which is on display here in the Chinese galleries. This is the original 1914 wing, but as you can see, part of the most recent work done here included completely renovating this space. And if you recall, when we were out on Philosopher's Walk, I pointed out a series of enormous arched windows that face west. Here they are. I remember coming in here at one point and seeing the drywall that had been put up here a couple of inches away from the old wall. In fact, at some point, somebody had very carefully come through this whole gallery and blocked off these windows. Anyway, now they're once again open. They look great. I feel like I'm part of something and not cut off from everything. And then there's this wonderful, wonderful Chinese collection, which has been a highlight here at the Ram, going all the way back to the 1920s. So this is what some of the old galleries look like. Let's go and take a look at something new. The most spectacular of the new galleries is probably the dinosaur room, so let's take a look. So I think this is one of the best parts of the new museum. This is the dinosaur gallery. And I think this is where the crystal is, is shown to its best advantage with these very sort of unexpected angular walls and these openings through which you can see into the city. And, and I think it's a, a great display space for the Rams dinosaur collection as well. This is probably the most single popular part of the museum and, it, and it's really not hard to understand why. And one last thing I wanted to point out was this sort of protrusion of the old into the new. 
I think it's a very nice reminder of how cultural institutions such as the Ram are not built all at once, but are added to over the course of decades. Each generation does its bit, takes a new look, and builds a new addition onto something that already exists. And I think that if we're lucky, and I think we have been at the Ram, then the sum is greater than the total of the parts. For the Star.com, I'm Christopher Hume.